Today I'm sharing with you three awesome lunchbox ideas. They turned out really well, great for kids or adults, as well as a delicious cake in the pie maker. I can't believe it, I didn't stuff it up. If I can do it, you can do it too. G'day guys, welcome to another Monday. I'm sharing another four recipes I've done in the Kmart pie maker. If you didn't see my first one last week, then check that out. I'll leave the link in the cards and the description box for you. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first lunch meal is Vegemite scrolls. So to make this, I grabbed out the puff pastry, probably for about five or 10 minutes or so, just so it was thawed from the freezer, and then some Vegemite and some tasty cheese. With the Vegemite, I'm applying about a spoonful and just covering the puff pastry. Now, I actually can't stand Vegemite, so I asked my hubby whether this was too much Vegemite. He did say when I was applying it that he was thinking, crikey, that's gonna be strong. It was okay, he said he wouldn't have wanted any more. And then I put a cup of cheese on. And then I rolled it all up, cut it in half, and then cut one half in half again. I put them into a cold pie maker and put them on for five minutes. After five minutes, I check them and then I put them on again for another three minutes. Then I flip them over and put them on for 10 more minutes. While that was cooking away, I made a ham and cheese scroll. So just four pieces of ham and one cup of the light tasty cheese, just sprinkled all over. And then I rolled this up. This one, I just made three cuts in it. So I had four pieces. There's the Vegemite scrolls done and the pastry's got a bit of a golden colour so I'm going to take those out. So I'm going to put the ham and cheese scrolls on for 10 minutes. I decided to check them at two minutes to go. I was happy with that, so I just turned them over and then I put them on for another six minutes. Something I've really noticed with the pie maker is when you're doing your second and third batch, the pie maker is already warm. So the pie maker is already warm, so I don't need to cook it for as long. So these scrolls are definitely bigger because I didn't cut them as small, but the puff pastry is far more golden. So that was with eight minutes flipping over and then six minutes. And then I had those two pieces of the Vegemite scroll still not done. So I just chucked them in the front of the pie maker, put it on for eight minutes, turn them over, and then a further six minutes. Now I did end up eating one of these Vegemite scrolls because I do feel like it's important to eat what I make. Um, but like I said, I don't like Vegemite. So the puff pastry was good, but hey, I prefer the ham and cheese scrolls and that's what I'll do for me in the future. However, my hubby really enjoyed the Vegemite scrolls and said it actually wasn't too much Vegemite. He was a bit concerned when I was putting it on and my daughter enjoyed both of them. Since this video, we've actually done it again, ham and cheese scrolls. We've also done cheese, bacon, and vegetables. The $1.60 packet of vegetables from Coles. Put a photo here so you know what I'm talking about. And this was really delicious and a bit of a sneaky way to get some veggies into us. Next, we're making pizza balls. So I decided to try out the two ingredient dough, which is two parts flour to one part yogurt. So I did two cups of self-raising flour and then one cup of Greek light yogurt. You'll notice with the pie maker recipes, if there's flour, then we use the sifter. If my daughter's around, she just goes and gets it out. She loves sifting flour. And yes, it's definitely more messy cooking with kids, but it's so fun and it's a great activity to be able to do together. And hey, there's more flour on the bench, which I'm gonna need later. So it's a lot of fun to do together. And then she started mixing it together. As we were mixing it together, I thought it was a little bit too dry. So I actually asked Dave to just put some more yogurt on for me. As you can see here, he just added a big spoonful, but it just wasn't coming together. So then I continued to knead it until it was into a nice ball. So in our pizza pockets or pizza balls, we've got some pasta sauce, ham, capsicum, mushroom, onion, parmesan cheese, 
and light tasty cheese. So after putting flour over the rolling pin so that it didn't stick to the dough, then I roll some out, grab the dough so that it kind of would be like a bowl in my hand. Then I put the pasta sauce on and the toppings that I wanted. I can't believe with the first one I actually forgot to put cheese, but anyway, And then I closed it together at the top and then twisted so that I took off the excess dough. But to be honest, I still found that this was really quite doughy. But we, when we have pizza, have super thin pizza bases, so that could be why too. Everyone in the family was pretty excited about what I was making, so Dave had a go making one. And my two and a half year old daughter did as well. She got to choose what she wanted on her little pizza pocket. Then I put in the pie maker cold and then put five minutes on the clock. Look at one of them, it ends up looking a bit like a pie. And went another minute and then I took them out. The cheese was melted. The first lot was a bit doughy, so Dave rolled it out a lot thinner and then used the cutter that comes with the pie maker to cut the circle. Then we put it on for five minutes, flip them over, and then put them on for another two minutes. As you can see, these guys need a little bit longer. They needed a little bit longer because they weren't as big, so they weren't touching all the sides of the pie maker. So what I learnt from this, the second ones were definitely better. They were thinner, they weren't as doughy. That was the first time I'd made the dough like that and it did turn out really well. And Dave said he'd be really happy to have these at work because they don't make a mess and he can eat them on the run. Last lunch idea before our snow dessert is pumpkin puffs. So super simple as you can see there, pumpkin, eggs, chives, cheese, and self-raising flour. So first off, one cup of self-raising flour. Like I just said before, everything goes in the sifter if it's got flour. And then I'm cutting up this pumpkin. I need two cups of cooled pumpkin and gee, did I get lucky. This worked out to be exactly two cups. While that was boiling on the stove, I chopped up a quarter of a cup of chives. I can't believe I had to buy this from the supermarket. We used to have chives. We're gonna have to get more chives in our garden. And then I'm using a cup of tasty light cheese we mixed in two eggs. As I was mixing this, I was thinking, oh, this is gonna to be too dry, but it worked out. I've put the recipe in the description box so you can go check it out yourself. But like I said, it had to be cooled. So I just put it on a plate to try and cool it quicker and then mashed it up with a fork. and then mixed it all together. And as you can see, it worked. It all came together really nicely. And then I put a blob of pumpkin in each pie maker hole. Then put it on for five minutes. I've been using the microwave as a timer and I'll tell you what, it's a lot easier than unlocking your phone and then using it. And then I turned them over and put them on for another two minutes and then they were done. And then the pie maker actually got completely cold because I had to go off and do something else. So this time I put it on for five minutes and flipped them and then four minutes. I've made them again since and the next time I didn't have as much pumpkin. So it had a bit more of a flowery taste. These ones, if you actually do the two cups of pumpkin are delicious. And as a sneaky treat, I even added a bit of butter to some of them, but you don't need it. You don't need it. 
And last, I'm super excited to share these snow cakes. Now, the reason they're green is because that's the color my daughter chose. So all you're gonna need is a packet mix. This is 75 cents from Coles and 250 mils of Sprite. So first we poured in the cake mix and then we gently poured in the Sprite. You don't want it to go too crazy with bubbles, but obviously it bubbles a little bit. And I didn't pour it all in. I thought that was enough. And then I mixed it around, just gently, just folding it in. Just folding it in because the bubble is what aerates it and gives it a real fluffy taste hence the name snow cakes after we'd both had a go mixing it i decided that was enough and there was about 40 mils or so left of the sprite that we didn't end up using we didn't need to then like i said i asked my daughter what color she wanted to make it and we made it green I put two spoons into the pie maker and I was a bit apprehensive about this. Would this work? Wouldn't it? As I've attempted to make raspberry muffins in the pie maker and it was a disaster. The outside was brown and the inside still wasn't cooked. Whereas these, I used a skewer and they were perfect. So I put them on for seven minutes and then I checked them with a skewer and you can also just press on them with your finger and see if they bounce back. And then I repeated the same for the next one and these were delicious. So we had them with blueberry jam and cream. Totally recommend them and they worked out really, really well. I hope you enjoyed these meal ideas as well as this absolutely delicious dessert. If you want to share in the comments a recipe you love, please do and I'll give it a go. Thanks for watching. Bye.